One of the things you touched on, kind of running through the power rankings, was, was scouting. You know, I'm kind of a little critical of some of the scouting. I think some of the CPL teams have been a little lazy in where they're finding their players. I just think there's a lot more talent in this country than even whatever United States that that could be playing in this league that they're not finding. You know, we talked about Corey Bent, mm -hmm. number one overall pick. All right, that's a good find. Yeah. This kid's been a good player. But aside from that, you know, I just... You know, Alex plays for Masters Academy, one of the top academies in Ontario, and you know his Masters is part of League One. But then you look at—I mean, I just haven't seen any CPL team really kind of out scouting. You know, I've done university games and that. It's like, where are they? Where are they finding these people? I just think at this state of the where the stage or where the league is, you should be seeing CPL colors, especially in our area, York Nine. You know, Forge FC, Ottawa, they should be at all these OPDL games, youth games, trying to find these kids because they're there. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I just think they got to step that up a bit. Um, well, you can see some additions here and there on a couple teams. Uh, York uh, obviously has one guy from League One, another from OPDL, uh, but it, it's really few and far between uh, some of these teams. Or even out in British Columbia, there's a, a ton of prospects that, that could be found. Also out in Quebec, um, I know Mo Farsi. He came out of Blainville in the Quebec Premier League. That that's that can be a good find for Cavalry. He's proven he can be a good player. But uh, there's tons of Canadians like Tyler Pasher, who's ripping it up in the USL right now. Uh, um, maybe even a leading scorer in the USL at the moment. This is the guy with Indianapolis. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. why isn't he in CPL colors right now as a Canadian? Uh, a team should say bring him home. It's either he goes to the MLS or should come to CPL. That should be yeah. the way Canadians should play. Uh, so, like example for him, why isn't he? And there's other tons of Canadians yeah. around the USL, even in lower leagues in Europe. Like wh why have a guy play League Two in Scotland like Fr Fraser Air did? But uh, come home, like come play yeah. in front of your friends and family, and just build the country and try and create football for 2026 to be a big product. And I think it also has to do with Canada soccer. Obviously, hey, we've done some great things. Alfonso Davies, you know. But, yes. but aside from that, you know, you want to talk about the, the Canadian national teams from what I've seen over the past couple of years. You know, the U18, U17, U16, they're only taking players from the Toronto FC Academy, Whitecaps Academy, and the Impact Academy. Mm -hmm. now, of course, they got some great young talent. But there's, a, there's hundreds and thousands of other players at other academies and club leagues and rep teams that just as good as better than those kids. And so for you to say, oh, in order to represent our country, you have to play for one of these three clubs, uh, it's just ridiculous. You know, I just think, and I think, you, you know, who, what did you see all the loans from just before the start of the Island Games? TFC loan. Vancouver loan, TFC two loan. It's like they're just going, going from the picking from the same pot. Yeah, very direct. Uh, I understand how how there may not be too many Canadian players just as yet, and still some kids have to grow into the professional game. As some some of the kids are young, uh, we we see some bright talents like Jaden Nelson. He's yeah. only about seventeen or so, yeah. but he's a he, TFC striker. Yes, he, yeah. he's with he TFC. Yeah. He made his first appearance in the Orlando tournament. Um, but even some young Americans, if you could give them a chance as well, um, certain certain younger age, if you want to go for more of like a youth league and kind of build up and provide an academy sorts, then you, you go go that way. Try and find these young Canadians and stick to your route of, well, let's use the OPDL or even local leagues like CSL or um, mm -hmm. out in the Horseshoe over by Niagara. There's you got to have any players you can yeah. find from Ontario, Quebec. Alberta, British Columbia, and, and use just more. But yes. I mean, specifically, you want to start Toronto area, the GTA, yes, as from Oakville to the Hamiltons to the, you know, out to kind of even just Durham region, just that range there's alone, there's hundreds, plenty of players. Hundreds. 